do you want to make a brick wall? I mean, it's not like you'd easily just download all the texture maps for free online or anything. Since that's totally not possible at all, I've actually done it for you. There's a free download to the textures available on my Gumroad. Link in the description. Oh, and there's other stuff on there too. Go check it out. Why a brick wall? I actually don't know. It's the first thing that came to my head. So I stuck with it since my free trial of Adobe Substance Designer is gonna run out in like two days. And uh, I'm afraid, <laughs> yeah, that, that's not happening. So, do you wanna make a brick wall? Cause I do, which means open us up. This dog, bro, I swear to God. Open Adobe Substance Designer and create a new substance graph, making sure metallic roughness is selected. Give your graph an appropriate name and set it to 4 or 2k whether you think your PC will blow up or not. What the? You get six different maps. Base color, normal, roughness, metallic, ambient occlusion, and height. Delete everything that's on the left, press spacebar, and search for base material. This allows you to plug all your maps into one material. Make sure the metallic is fully set to black, adjust the roughness a bit, and scroll all the way down to where you can enable height. To demonstrate, I added a random grunge map and plugged it in. The whiter parts are higher and the blacks are lower. Let's start by making a brick. Add a shape, resize it, add a blur high quality grayscale, and soften the edges. From there, I attach a slope blur and a Gaussian noise texture for the slope. When you set the samples to 32 and change the intensity, it should distort your shape. Cool, now just do that again, but slightly scale out the Gaussian noise for extra distortion. That's one brick done. Copy paste that two more times and change the seeds of the Gaussian noises for variation. Tile sampler is what we'll use to combine the bricks together to form a wall. At the moment, it only has one input, so set the pattern to pattern input and the amount to three. Now just change the amount, skill, sizes, set the offset to 0.5, Play with the symmetry random, the scale random, position random, and rotation random should all be changed by small amounts. Oh, and change the color random too. Right now the value is quite high, but I lower it later on in the video. Quite easy, right? Oh, damn it, you're falling asleep. Add a high quality blur and set the intensity to a very low amount to smoothen out the edges and reduce noise. Create a bevel mess with the distance and blend it back together with an add linear dodge blending mode. This creates, well, a bevel around some bricks. Multi-directional warp with once again a Gaussian noise for extra distortion. Crystal, add that too, and rotate it in 90 degrees using a transformation 2D node. Another slope blur gray scale, you're gonna see a lot of these. Change the samples and intensity to get an effect like this now, we probably want to actually see how our map looks like, so I plug it into the height we enabled earlier. I changed the height settings a bit by going into Materials, Default, Edit, and scroll down to the height scale. It looks like a brick wall, but there's just not enough detail yet. So I apply a grunge map, map number 9 to be exact, and for some reason I rotated 90 degrees. I don't know why I did that. I then blend the grunge map and the brick wall back together using multiply, and blend that blend together with the crystal slope blur using subtract this time and changing the opacity. You still with me? Bricks have cracks in them, so add a fractal sum base and attach that to a slope blur with Gaussian noise. When changing the intensity, it turns into this. Added an auto levels, blended it together with the blend from earlier using multiply. Boom, there's your cracks. Added one more auto levels and framed everything together. One big one for the height since we ain't done yet. One around what we've already created, calling it brick height. And one for the brick variations to keep everything organized. Cement keeps everything together. So add clouds with an auto levels. I used it as a slope for a slope blur to create this weird plaster effect. With levels, I make a sort of threshold by putting the black and white amount sliders right next to each other. I want to be able to manipulate the amount of plaster we see, so I add a histogram scan. It does this when you change the position. I don't know how it works, but it's useful. Then more levels where I removed some black and whites and added a blend node for later. 
moisture noise with the clouds from earlier into a slow blur. It makes another plaster looking effect. Levels where I once again remove the whites and blacks and blend this together using the histogram scan as the mask with divide as a blending mode. Frame the histogram scan node, calling it cement damage for easy access. Cement has little holes and bumps in it, so I add Gaussian spots and noise, changing the levels for both and blend these together to remove spots in certain areas using add sub. Inverted that, added a high quality blur to remove noise and once again blended that into the stuff we created earlier using multiply this time. Are we finally done with the- No. With a fractal sun base, crystal, and slow blur, I created this painterly effect and blended that together with min darken as a blend mode. This is how the cement looks like when plugged into the height map, by the way. Are you tired of hearing the word blend? Because guess what? Blend the cement and bricks together. I wanted the cement to only show where there are no bricks, so a brick threshold as the mask fixed the problem. Change some of the levels to make the result nicer too. The color is easy, I swear. Grab a uniform color, hue saturation lightness, where you slightly shift these sliders. Then blend that back together using the bricks as a mask to create this effect. Here's the effect exaggerated in case you don't see what's going on. Enable the base color and the base material and plug in what we created. Do the exact same for the cement, but with cementy colors and the cement height for the mask. I blend the brick and cement colors together using a threshold mask from earlier to separate the two. It looks a bit plain, doesn't it? When I added a normal map from the height, I realized it was way too noisy, so I added a couple high Q blurs with low intensities to calm down the noise. Once that was done, I increased the normal intensity, added the curvature smooth to convert it to grayscale, and used a grayscale map to allow color input. I blended that with the color blend using overlay. Looks good, but still not enough detail. Blending that with an ambient occlusion map, I managed to create more depth. Where we created the ambient occlusion, I make the roughness. With another normal and levels, adding curvature smooth and blends, I create this effect for the roughness. Enable the roughness and plug it in, then flip the levels and play with the values. I swear we're almost done. For extra detail, I add a normal and just plug it into the base material. Another ambient occlusion map, but this time actually for the ambient occlusion. And this is what I ended up with, the finished brick material, that was easy, right? Just to demonstrate, I exported the textures and plugged them into a material in Blender. I'm done yapping now. You can go download the textures off of my Gumroad or something. Or watch another one of my videos, I guess.